Guys, MJ is gonna kill me if we don't get to bed, but like, okay. I just finished editing yesterday's video, right? It's exporting right now. And I got a raid from Nico. Dude, huge shout out. Check this out, guys. Shiny Galarian Zigzagoon number two. And do you see that CP? Oh, come on. Oh, don't do that dodgy stuff. There we go. 289 CP. 289. The hundo is 290. Down it goes. I'm going to freak out. We literally just evolved Shiny Obstagoon. 289. Bro. Yo. 98% Shiny Galarian Zigzagoon. Well, it looks like we need two more again because that is going to be evolved to a shiny Obstagoon. Shiny 98, are you kidding me? Oh my. Okay, we have a huge announcement coming tomorrow and like, I gotta get to bed. Shiny 98%, I'm done. There's literally no way. Again, if I don't go to bed, MJ's gonna kill me. But what? we just caught that shiny Galarian Zigzagoon like 20 minutes ago and click right there. Shiny weather boosted Teddy Ursa. 1019 CP. It's green. I'm going to hit it with the Pokeball. We're not going to hit it with a grade. It doesn't matter. It was a green circle. It should be one, two, three. Easy to catch. Yes. I haven't seen this since uh, the Safari Zone play day. 1019 weather boosted. What? Is it any good? No, it's not. We don't care, y'all. What is going on with this luck? Day one shiny Galarian Zigzagoon. 98% shiny Galarian Zigzagoon. Now we got a Teddy or something. We also got the Hundo, which I got to start walking, but I'll get to that. I don't even, okay. I, I got to go to bed. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at Manito, and as you can see, they finally started planting, and MJ wanted to come out and see the park one more time before we head out of here, and I'm glad we chose today because it's a beautiful day, although it's ridiculously windy. Um, we want to do a whole lot of checking out the park today. I brought the gimbal to get some amazing shots, so I hope you guys are ready to enjoy that. But last night, you guys saw we got a 98% shiny Galarian Zigzagoon, and then like 20 minutes later, I got a shiny weather boosted Teddy Ursa. And we're gonna start out the video here at the park with a shiny as well. I know everybody's gonna hate me and I honestly can't believe this, but check this out right here. If we hit that stacked reward, that is our third shiny Galarian Zigzagoon. Third. Um, I still technically need two more, one more, because I am going to evolve the 98% shiny, but like, how amazing is this luck with these? I know some people that have done over 100 raids have none. This is my shiny right here. I've done probably right around 100 raids and research tasks, and I've got three of them. And 202 is gonna give us, that is probably the worst one we have. I don't care, that one can stay a Zigzagoon. Here's the question of the day. Okay, for starters, oh, Sudowoodo ran. It wasn't shiny, we're gonna say it wasn't shiny. This research task right here, let's go ahead and claim this and see if we can get another one. No, we cannot. Uh, 216 though. Is it 218 is the hundo from this? I actually have no idea, but I don't really need another 98, but I guess I would take one. 216, 96, okay. 96 isn't bad. So what we need to do now is move on in the research. We have to claim this guy right here. That could have been another shiny. How about this guy right here? Will this be shiny? That could have been a shiny Sneasel, I would have taken that. And last encounter this round is going to give us... Oh, if that would have been shiny, you would have seen this phone get whipped. 
I do not need another Meowth, Alolan Kanto, none of it. Okay, so now I gotta complete seven research tasks, which I'm really kinda mad I've been throwing those away now. I've gotta catch five different species of dark types, I've got the gotcha going, and then I just need to win a raid. So, let's look at raids around here. Eveltal, great. Hopefully we can get an invite. Let me know down in the comments how the invites or raids in general around your area have been for the Zigzagoon because we have not seen many between yesterday and today. Hopefully we can go get some invites to some, but I'm going to complete this research. You guys enjoy the shots of the park. Okay, y'all, it is time to move on to the next round. It took forever to check off these research tasks, but that's okay. We went ahead and did it, so let's go ahead and see. First encounter will give us not Shiny Houndoom, but I did see a couple of people actually get the Shiny Houndoom from this. Let me know in the comments if you guys got it. All right, next encounter. Ooh, that could have been a Shiny Alolan Muck, or a Muck Grimer. All right, and last encounter on this page is going to give us a not shiny Absol. I definitely would have taken that one. Okay, so for this round, we got to purify 10 shadow Pokemon, which I think I have, catch 12 shadow Pokemon, which is annoying, and defeat three leaders, which there's only two here. So we'll go do those in a minute. But before we do that, there are some updates that we need to talk about. And uh, this is pretty, pretty awesome. For starters, we got the GoFest announcement, which is the one I'm gonna go over first. There's a lot to go over, so I'm gonna try to just stick to the important stuff. The first thing, the ticket and celebration of the 25th year of Pokemon and the fifth year of Pokemon Go, they are dropping it from $14.99 to five bucks. The next thing, it is sponsored by Google Play. So if you are an Android holder, there are going to be special bonuses for Android device holders. And it's going to be another two-day event, which a lot of people are excited about. The one thing I'm not excited about, this. The hourly habitats, which, I mean, they're cool. They're going to have great Pokemon, which the one that I'm worried about the most is Dino in the cave habitat. Everybody's going to be going that. Come on now, we all want that one. And that's going to be the day one. Day two is going to be focused on raids, which will have Dino, Galarian Ponyta, Zigzagoon, all of that cool stuff with costumes. Okay, so the next thing to focus on is going to be the specific Pokemon spawning in each one of these. Now you're going to see in the jungle, Scyther, Apom, Froki, no big deal. Desert Mountain, Skarmory, Shieldon, Hippo, Potato, and more, no big deal there. Ocean Beach, which the only one I care about is Alola, Momola, Mola, Mola, the, the friggin' fish thing, okay? I never got that shiny. And then the cave habitat, like I said, Dino. Raids are going to be awesome. You will get a total of 21 free raid passes between research, photo discs, and a box that they're giving for free. New music, which will depend on if you pick Pikachu Rockstar or Pikachu Popstar. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. They're both cute. They're both cool. The Global Arena is back. Don't care about that. Now, even though we don't care about the Global Arena, what we do care about is what's coming off of the incense. Unknown F, Unknown G, Ludicolo, Chatot, Leafeon, and Superior for Jungle. Desert, you're gonna see Flareon, Unknown, F and G, Tyranitar, Flygon, and Throw. Ocean Beach, you will get Gyarados, Vaporeon, Azumarill, Unknown, FG, and Sock. The cool thing is, both of these regionals will be spawning for everybody. And then Cave, there's really nothing in there to worry about. Um, the Pokemon spawning on incense during the event hours for ticket holders will have an increased chance of being shiny, which is absolutely awesome. Five bucks, be a ticket holder. 
And that's pretty much all that I care about to go through the announcement. Um, Nick, Zoe, a lot of other people have done in-depth reviews of it. That was just the part that I thought was most important. Now, let's talk about new shinies. Big shout out to Reese for all of these edits. We will be getting shiny throw. We will be getting shiny sock. We will be getting shiny chime echo, which we don't know if Chingling will be shiny. Um, shiny Audino, which is the one I'm going to be going for the most, and Sock because it's beautiful. Uh, shiny Wismer in the family, Shiny Temple in the family, and Shiny Unknown F. That is going to be all of the big, big announcements I'm going to go over for GoFest. And there are some more announcements we have to go over, but we'll do that in a few. I'm going to stop leaning and killing myself and let's go check off some tasks. All right, y'all, we had to leave the park, but we have three Shiny Galarian Zigzagoon checks. Nico just sent us a raid invite to one, and then we've got two here to do. So let's take this one down real quick, move on to the other two. Now, Nico got me the 98% Shiny. Let's see if he can get me a Shundo or just another Shiny in general. 332, not a Shundo, but Shiny? No, okay, let's do the next two. Shiny check number two. No, and 358. I don't know if that's good. Okay, so the last raid got booted out of, have no idea what happened. Also, I never want to see a grunt, a team leader, anything ever again, but shout out to Erica for sending us the Zigzagoon raid to hopefully calm me down a little bit. And this is gonna give us three shiny checks. So this first one, I don't think it's gonna be weather boosted, it's raining, can we get 290? We can get 277. Can it sparkle? Can it give us the red, white, and blue? No. All right, we got two more checks. Number one, no, and 209, not great. And this one right here, that is not gonna shine for us. 201, not good, okay. So we're over here at the college. We're gonna loop around for a couple of tasks. But before we do that, we need to move on and complete this research. I'm gonna get these poffins right here in the first encounter. That's the other Zigzagoon, 203. And this will give us, ooh, I would have taken a shiny Larvitar. I haven't seen that in a while. And the last encounter will be, oh, I would have flipped. I would have literally gotten out of this car and tried to do a backflip. I would have hurt myself. Would have been great for the video, but I would have tried to do it. 434, we know if that's any good though. It is, no good. Larvitar, no good. We have not gotten anything good today except for one Pokemon. Check this out. We got a Hundo Venipede, which, I mean, maybe we'll evolve that later, I guess. But before we go ahead and go look for some more tasks, nothing over here. I'm going to go over the rest of the updates that we have. There are quite a few, so I'm just going to go through them quick like I did with the GoFest one because... You guys can read. I don't need to do an update video. And if you guys want a full update video, like I said, Zoe and Trainer Tips have already done one. Now, the one I am most excited about, Mega Slowbro is coming. And the reason I'm really excited about that is one, Shiny Mega Slowbro is purple. I love purple shinies. But we are also getting an event that is going to bring us Galarian Slowpoke and Slowbro. I love those, so that's awesome. We're going to get those shiny as well. Those are great shinies. Um, Mega Slowbro is coming June 8th, and then I actually have to go look in the announcement because they just kind of snuck it in there 
of the additional ones. Nobody really covered those. I have to see if it's in here or if it's actually in the announcement on... No, here we go. A very slow discovery from Tuesday, June 8th to Sunday, June 13th. Local time, Galarian Slowpoke, Slowbro, and Mega Slowbro will make their Pokemon Go debuts. And then we are getting the Solstice event again. So the people in, where is it, the Northern Hemisphere are going to get Summer Pokemon. And the people in the Southern Hemisphere will get Winter-themed Pokemon. I love the Solstice events. They always have good spawns. And who knows, maybe they'll bring new Shinies this year for those. They typically do. Or we'll get a new Shiny and a new Pokedex entry. I'm always down for that. And then we have one that's just three question marks. Trainers will be able to sink their two front teeth into an unexpected event from Friday, June 25th at 10 a.m. through Thursday, July 1st at 8 p.m. local time. Now, there were two Pokemon everybody speculated this would be Rattata or Bidoof. I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be a Bidoof event. It's going to be the meme event because we already have Shiny Rattata, Shiny Alolan Rattata. They've been recycled through like 48 events. I'm going to go ahead and say this will probably be the release of Shiny Bidoof. And that's pretty much it for those. The next thing that not many people are excited about, I'm semi-excited kind of excited through let's see it's june 1st through the 17th you're gonna have reggie rock reggie steel and reggie ice now they're gonna get a raid hour on june 2nd for reggie rock june 9th for reggie steel and june 16th for reg ice she needs you said reg ice i need any of them. she might not need any we haven't decided but reggie steel is very good for pvp and i have yet to get enough to do trades for them to get one for pvp i would also like to get a couple of shinies to take the risk on rolling it and maybe getting one she just saw a zigzagoon raid we'll do that in a second it's from erica oh is it crap we won't do that in a second i will go ahead and get to that now um we'll hop in on this and then cover the last couple of updates it's nothing serious i guess i can just go into it um the research breakthrough box in June is going to be Clam Pearl. Nobody's really excited about that. And then the last thing before we hop in on this raid is going to be the spotlight hours, which I have. There it is. Um, we're going to get on June 1st, Dwebble and two times catch XP. We're going to get on June 8th. Abra, which nobody wants, but it's two times catch candy. Do a Meltan box. June 15th, Slowpoke, which I will be focusing on that 100%. And thanks to the fact that we can mass transfer anything. What? Well, what? We'll be for that. Oh, that'll be fun. Um, we'll be doing that, in, I guess. That's kind of cool. And then Swinub on the 22nd for two times evolution xp and then two times catch stardust with a palm on the 29th all shinies all good rewards it's a really good month for spotlight hours oh wafu i gotta get in on this raid i'm not paying attention there's so much stuff that's the thing there's just so many updates but those are the gist of the updates and nobody really i mean the spotlight hours are decent the clam pearl is ass um, the raids, they're the trash cans. It's like the 87th time they've been recycled. 262. Shiny? No. No. All right. But that's pretty much it for the updates. I'm most excited about the GoFest announcement. The fact that it's got new music. The fact that it's going to bring so many new shinies. My biggest thing that we talked about already is I'm not the biggest fan of of the rotating hours because it doesn't give me the opportunity to grind what I want. But with two days of the event, raids, catching, incense, lures, there's so many rewards, so much to do. I think it's gonna work out either way. One thing I will say though, as you know, I do already have throw because it's our regional. I'm doing the same with Sock as I did with Durant. If I do not get it shiny, I'm not catching sock. The fact is, it's not a regional to here. It's something I do want to be able to catch when we go and travel. However, if I do encounter a shiny one, I'm not going to run from that. So that's going to be one for all of you guys to make fun of me for. And hopefully, I don't screw up the research this time and they <laughs> don't put a regional in the research that I'm required to catch this time. 
We'll see. I don't know. It might happen. It might not. But before we go ahead and wrap up today's video, we are going to drive around and see if we can get any more winter raid tasks or do any more raids because I do have to cut this video kind of short now that we're done with the research because tomorrow is the Verizon event, which I'm trying to hit level 39 because increased 49. 49. Good Lord. I'm going back in time over here, um, but I'm trying to hit 49. So with the increased lucky trades, hopefully I can do that. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of all of these updates and GoFest and everything else. And let's go find some tasks. All right, y'all, let's get this video wrapped up. One, I forgot two of the updates, but these are fast and easy ones. One, we are getting a makeup event because apparently after the raids went away for Galarian Ponyta, Niantic screwed up again and shut off the shiny. So you couldn't get it out of your research breakthrough. You couldn't get out of eggs, nothing. Now, sadly, they're not going to financially make up for the people who did try to hatch them out of eggs after the event. But from June 1st to June 8th, they're going to be doing Galarian Ponyta will be appearing more often in 7km eggs, which I kind of doubt it. And then they're doing a timed research with Galarian Pony Talk encounters and bonus items. Not really sure what the bonus items are gonna be. And then the other one is a Go Battle League Season 8 update. I care literally not at all about Go Battle League. The only reason I'm showing this one is we get Mindfu as an encounter through GBL. So if you want a chance to get that Pokedex entry early, go ahead and try some GBL. You do get it as a guaranteed encounter for rank five, which is very easy to get to. Um, I'm gonna do it because I just want the Pokedex entry, but if you have literally no interest in GBL and don't think you could hit rank five, don't worry, just like Scraggy and everything else, they'll have a chance for you to get it eventually. Those are the two updates I missed, and there were no additional shinies. We did a bunch of raids, we did a bunch of tasks nothing extra i'm not going to do any evolutions this video has already run on long enough so i'm going to wrap it up here let me know down in the comments what you are looking forward to the most out of all of next month's events but more importantly what are you looking forward to the most out of go fest and which day do you think you're going to go harder on the catch day or the raid day i always want to say her and i are going to go harder on the catch day and that is just a wretched lie because well if anybody watched our vegas go fest videos like she, you should see the look she's giving me her, her wallet's hurting just talking about it if you watched our go fest las vegas adventure um i'm fairly certain her and i spent more on raids than we did on going to vegas and coming back from vegas <laughs> um so i honestly believe we're going to go harder on the raid day and that's even if we get Dino the first day, like I'm not even gonna pretend. I know her, I know me. And when those invites come in, every time we're gonna say, no, this is gonna be the last one, this is gonna be the last one. And then two minutes later, you're gonna hear that magical ding on the iPhone of one of us buying more coins. So be prepared for some raid filled videos, but some catch filled videos too, because I wanna see how many of those shinies I can get myself. I'm really gonna try this year to not use the gotcha for catches because the plan her and I have, I should be able to be on foot most of the day and be able to hand catch. The reason I went with the gotcha was because we were in Vegas, it was 115 degrees, and I was doing gibble raids probably every 30 seconds. So we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. But let me know what you guys are thinking about all of these updates and what your favorite part of all these updates are. And I do want to give one quick shout out before we end the video. Laura, thank you so much for joining the Patreon family. Every donation, every single one of you guys gives helps more than you know, because I don't put any of our personal money into the channel anymore. So the ad revenue, the Patreon, all of that that's donated goes right back into the channel. So it's really you guys that are feeding this and I love every second of it. And if you haven't already, 
go join the Discord. After I said it in the last video, we gained like 15 new members and that's incredible. So welcome all of the new Discord members and we're gonna keep growing, we're gonna keep having fun and amazing new adventures. But she has work to do for her next contract. I have to finish this video and prepare for tomorrow because I'm doing the Verizon event for me and her. So that's gonna be a whole lot of fun there. Then I gotta edit that video. Also, you may be watching this video after the Verizon event. I haven't exactly decided when I'm gonna upload this yet, but yeah, I'll figure it out. Oh, and one last thing. Let me know down in the comments how the Galarian Zigzagoon raids are going for you guys because I've seen it kind of going on two different extremes right now. Like, she's gotten two from research. I've gotten two from raids and one from research. I've seen a lot of people either getting a bunch of them or people getting none of them. I don't know what's going on. But let me know how it's going for you guys. And if you did enjoy this adventure, please make sure to smash that like button for me. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell when you do. And then go hop over to the Twitch and follow that because I promise you, as soon as we get settled in the next location, I'm going to be streaming a lot more often because she's going to be going to five days a week instead of three days a week. I'm going to have some extra time on my hands and I'd love to spend it with you guys. And if that's not enough, you want to help us grow, you want to be awesome like Laura and the rest of the Patreon family, go check out the links to the merch and Patreon down in the description, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!